An entry-level cybersecurity resume is important to highlight your experience, skills, certifications, and most importantly, the projects and labs that you're using to build the skills that are going to be relevant enough to help you get into the cybersecurity industry. Having reviewed hundreds of resumes from my cybersecurity discord, I've seen my first share of good and bad resumes. With that in mind, I've designed the most optimal resume that is very well tailored for cybersecurity professionals at the entry level as well as college students. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the top five things that this resume has that every entry-level cybersecurity resume should have. By the way, if you want access to the resume that I'm reviewing in this video, it's only going to be $3 till the end of this year. So click the link in the description below. The very first thing your resume must have is a header. And your header contains your name, your information, as well as links to your LinkedIn and at least a website or a GitHub account. Now, first of all, have your phone number there and your email there so you're easily accessible by recruiters if they ever get access to your resume. Then you must must have a LinkedIn profile. In this day and age, for anyone who's breaking cybersecurity, LinkedIn profile is very, very important, if anything. I recently made a video about how to make a LinkedIn profile and how to actually optimize your profile for recruiters and hiring managers, and I'll leave a link to it in the description as well as somewhere on the screen. Next is a website or a GitHub profile or both. So I have my GitHub linked here as well as my YouTube. I do sometimes have my website and my Credly, but it really depends on uh, whatever resume it is, right? So you must at least have your GitHub or your website or or maybe you have a YouTube channel, whatever the case is, wherever it is you're documenting your project or your scripts or your tools, whatever it is, you must have at least one of those things linked there. So name, profile with your number and your information, your, your Gmail account or your email account, as well as a LinkedIn profile and at least a website. Next is a summary. So a short and concise summary detailing exactly what you're working on right now. And this is very well designed for someone who's like a cybersecurity junior. You could replace that with a senior, or maybe if you're doing something else, let's say you're an accountant or you you're a financial analyst, whatever the case is, you can just put something, something with a passion for digital forensics, threat hunting, and incident response. Currently building my security analyst skills through the use of various CTFs, certifications, and projects slash labs. That defines the fact that you're currently a cybersecurity junior. Then you have a passion for these specific things in cybersecurity. How are you actually building the skills to fuel this passion? You're doing them through CTFs, certifications, and projects, right? So this is a very short and concise way to highlight your summary, your professional experience what exactly you're looking for with your goal to break into cybersecurity. next is your certifications that's the third thing that you must have in your cybersecurity profile now of course you need to have certifications to list them on your profile and these are actually my recommended certifications so blue team level one pmpt ejpt security plus and one cloud certification it could be azure it could be gcp whatever the case is right so you have them listed up here if you have multiple certifications like 10 15 certifications i don't think it's necessary enough to put all of the certifications on your profile because not all of those certifications are going to be always relevant for every job you're applying for so typically limited to the top three or the top five or the specific certifications or, or the specific certifications that are relevant for the job you're applying for or the internship whatever the case is the next thing is your education so i imagine if you are a cybersecurity junior or senior that means you're in school right so you're probably leveraging this for internship experience right and most internships want you to be enrolled in school right so this is a very nice way to put it on your resume right so your college what you're studying as well as your expected graduation date now as you can see here i don't have any relevant coursework listed on there reason is i personally believe a lot of things you're learning in college are not necessarily relevant to what you're going to be doing in the industry right so i typically recommend leaving those relevant coursework away from your resume because a lot of time they're not really that relevant if anything take those coursework do projects out of them and list them out in the next section which i'll be covering um, after this section but i personally recommend leaving out the relevant coursework section a lot of times it's not necessarily uh, pertinent to whatever you're going to be doing at your cybersecurity role. Also, if a job or internship is not specifically asking for a GPA, please do not list a GPA, right? Except this explicitly mentioned in the job posting that you must have a certain GPA, then I do recommend putting it on your resume. Of course, if your GPA is less than a 3.0, maybe don't put it, right? And only if they explicitly ask for that GPA, then you should put it on there. If not, leave it out, which is also why you should have specific resumes for each job you're applying for in order for you to have your resume tailored to what Whatever the job posting is asking for. So that's what is important for the education section in your resume. And the last and fifth most important thing that's relevant for an entry level cybersecurity resume is your cybersecurity projects and labs. This is by far the most important thing that you must have in your resume. Now, I have listed out some labs that I've done and some labs that are on the Cyberworks Academy website, but please make sure to actually do these labs if you're going to list them in your resume, right? So these are various labs that I've personally built or done by myself or other people from Cyberworks Academy. And 
they are free and available on our website so you can definitely check them out but a goal here is to document what exactly you're building and the skills you're getting from the products that you're building right as you can see here i did specific things in this lab and i listed them out in in three very clear and concise bullet points now the goal here is to do the products document them on your website and hyperlink them in your profile as you can see here i've hyperlinked this one here hyperlinked this one here hyperlinked this one here and also hyperlinked this one here right the goal is not just to list things that you did the goal is also to show specific documentation that shows that you actually did those things i've had situations where i was in interviews and the hiring manager or whoever was interviewing me actually clicked in to those links in my profile to go look at whatever project that i was working on at that time and asking me questions about them that way i was able to channel the interview in a way that was very very convenient for me because i knew about the project so I, it was very easy to talk about the projects and it also gave me a better chance actually getting the job or internship i was interviewing for which is why once again make sure you actually do projects based on what you're learning and the labs that you're doing to actually show that you have a strong grasp on the things that you're learning rather than just doing the labs that are already pre-made for you to do build projects around them and document them in your resume using a, a blog or github whatever the case is there's so many ways you can host your actual proof of the new project so these are four projects i typically recommend if you have more than that limit it to the top four projects that you actually learn the most from or you can actually speak the most to right so out of those 10 you might have done right you must have at least three or four that you must have learned a lot from or you actually can speak a lot more to in an interview those are that's my recommendation but of course um last but not least is your experience section i imagine that if you're at the entry level you don't necessarily have as much direct cybersecurity experience or none at all so your experience section comes last because that's not really what you're leveraging what you're leveraging is your cybersecurity projects and the lives that you're doing to build the skills and experience you need to get cybersecurity jobs that you want but if you do have some sort of experience it's great to list it out there so in this case this is a fictional it intern who works at general electric and here i've highlighted the specific things that the intern worked on during their internship so you want to make sure that this is about three to five bullet points right so three to five is a very nice number rather than you know anything more or less than that and here you highlight the specific things you worked on during the internship or at the role you were at and just make sure that it's quantifiable and actually speak to those things and those skills you did at your previous internship so these are the top five things that every entry level cybersecurity resume must have once again if you want access to this resume click the link in the description below it's going to be only three dollars till the end of this year if you want to learn how to build a linkedin profile and optimize it well enough for cybersecurity recruiters and hiring managers check out the video to the left of the screen and if you want to learn how i spent only ten thousand dollars and less than three years in college check out the video to the right of the screen thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye